Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I'm playing a really easy beginner's version of the wonderful Celtic song, Danny Boy. Now, I've tried to keep this as simple and beginner friendly as possible. So if you've just started out on your journey, I'm sure you'll be able to pick this one up. And maybe even one step further, if you've been playing that little bit longer, then you might be able to memorize this and play this for other people because it's very recognizable and it's a great song. So I'm going to be taking you through step by step, slowly, patiently on how to play it, what strings to play. There is tab available for this, so that's guitar music to help you read it and memorize it. You just need to go to my website, learnguitarinlondon.com and join the student area. It's completely free, just takes a name and email address to join. So without further ado, let's take a little close up and see how we play this great song. Okay, so we're going to start off with the strings. So the strings, the guitar has six strings, and the strings are E, A, D, G, B, E, or Eddie A, Dynamite, Good, by Eddie. Okay, so if I say the D string, it means the third string down. Sometimes I'll still reference the numbers, like, so I call this string one and this string six, but I'm gonna try and use the string letters. I find if you use numbers with numbers on the frets and numbers on the strings, it can be confusing. And speaking of numbers on the frets, so this is fret one, fret two, fret three, fret four etc. Okay, so they're kind of the basics. So let's start off by putting down our middle finger on fret two on the A string. And then I'm going to use a plectrum for this, but you could use your thumb or a plectrum. It really doesn't matter too much. Uh, either works. And I'm going to play fret two on the A string. And that's our first note. Okay, so two. And then on that same string, we're going to play fret three. Now notice how I'm using my ring finger to play fret three. Now, rather than doing that than moving, if you move, then the thing is, is that you've always got to come back to where you've just been. So, use the ring finger. Or you could use index and middle, doesn't really matter. So anyway, two, three, then it's a zero, an open string on the string below, the D string. And then finally, fret two on that string with the middle finger. So we've got two, three, zero, two, Pretty simple so far, right? Then we've got open on that D string again, the one that we've just played the two on. Then play the two again on that same string. Then move down to the G string, the fourth string down, and play a two there. Then play zero on the G, and then two on the D. Okay, so I'll do it all slowly from the beginning. Two, three, zero, two, staying on that same string, zero, two, then move down to the G, play that a two, then open on that string, zero, then back to two on the D. And then carrying on, we're now into bar three, if you've got the tab, hopefully you have, so that's the second line down. Open on the D string, third fret on the A string, which we've had before, and then open on the A string. Okay, so I'll take it from the beginning. And you can hear already, we're getting Danny Boy, right? So well done. Now you can see going into the next bar, if you do have the tab, that there's a zero in parentheses or a brackets around it, okay? Now all that means is, is you don't replay that note. That's the most important thing to understand about it. It basically means the note that we just played, the open A, is ringing into the next bar. You don't need to overthink it so much, just don't replay it. So that means that the next note that we do play is fret two on the A string, fret three on the A string, open on the D, and fret two on the D. So it's basically just like the beginning again. We've already done that. Two, three, open, two. Okay, let's carry on. We're gonna play open on the D, then two on the D, two on the G. So chain string, move down, open on that G string, four, string four, then second fret on the D, and then open on the D. So I'll do that again. So this is going from bar five or the middle bar on line two. Okay, one 
once again, you can see there's another note in parentheses. Just means you're leaving that note ringing. Don't re-pick it. And let's continue. So this is going to sound familiar again. Listen. So we're playing it for a third time, right? So we've already done that once. We've done it. So we've already done it twice. We're now doing it a third time. So that's fret two on the A, fret three on the A, open on the D, fret two on the D, then carrying on, open on the D, two on the D, two on the G. Move your plectrum or your thumb down, then open on the G, then two on the D, then open on the D then three on the A, then open on the A, okay? So I'm gonna play it from bar nine, which is line three, last line. Okay, carrying on, second fret on the A, third fret on the A, open on the D, second fret on the D, and then we've got a new note, one that we haven't played before. So this is fret three on the D string. So use your ring finger here, you can see what I'm doing. Then fret two on that same string, fret, then open on that string, then fret three on the A string to move up, and fret two, and then fret three on the A. Okay, so I'll do that again. So that's from this new note, this third fret on the D string. Three, two, zero. Then on the other string, three, two, three. And then another parenthesis. So we're just gonna leave this three that we've got, just leave that ringing. Then open on the G, fret two on the G. And then another new note, because things are getting higher sounding. I hope you can hear that. Then open on the B, string five then one on the B, so listen. Then open on the B, open again, then two on the G, then open on the G, then two on the D, then open on the G, then two on the D, and then third fret on the A. Okay, so I know that's quite a lot, so I'll break it down for you. There's a word that says chorus there, and that's where we're gonna start. So that's the last bar on the first page at the bottom there. So we're gonna start on that one. Okay, and again. Now that beat might be the bit where you need to practice the most. There's a lot of movement on strings there. So just make sure that if you are finding yourself playing the wrong string with your plectrum or your thumb, then just tilt the guitar slightly. Just tilt the angle so you can see down it and see all six strings. It just makes it a bit easier. Because sometimes when you look down, you'll just see this big whole wedge line of strings and it can make it a little harder. So let's continue on to, we're now on bar um, 21. <laughs> So that sounds familiar, right? We've already had that before as well. So that was the same as when we went to the higher part in 17. Then open twice on the B. Then it's that second fret on the G, open on the G, second fret on the D, then open on the D. I'll do that again. Good, let's continue. Okay, so we've got another note in parentheses. So remember, just let that ring, let that keep going. It's the previous note that you just played, but it's just carrying on, it's not stopping, right? We've now got three of the same note, nice and easy. The uh, G strings, the 88 dynamite, good, three times. And then open on the thinner string. So we've got da, da, da. Then third fret on the B, and third fret again on the B, then first fret on the B, second on the G, first fret on the B. And then I'm just gonna do a bit more just to finish off the musical phrase. Open G, second fret on the D, then third fret on the A. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll do that again. So I'll start from the open Gs in bar 25. Just notice the fingers that I'm using, okay? So on fret one, I'm using my index finger, on fret two, I'm using my middle, and on fret three, I'm using my ring. This just helps strengthen your fingers because, you know, as you're a beginner, and this is a beginner's song, encouraging to use all your fingers with playing is really, really helpful for the future. It's strengthening your fingers, especially your ring finger, and your ring and your pinky are traditionally the weakest fingers. <laughs> Okay, so we've just got the end now. So it's just four more bars. We're gonna go fret two on the A, fret three on the A, open on the D, fret two on the D, fret two on the G, open on the G, fret two on the D, open on the D, third fret on the A, open on the A, fret two on the A, and then You've got a couple of choices towards the end. You can just play the three, third fret on the A string, and that sounds nice, that finishes. But if you do know the chord and you have been playing a bit longer, you can make a C major chord and strum the bottom five strings. Now the C major is fret three on the A string, fret two on the D string, and fret one on the B string, strumming the bottom five down. And it just helps give it a nice close like this. So I'll do it from bar 29. Or it's uh, if you you know finding that difficult to make the C, you can just play the third fret on the A string. Okay. So I really hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more beginner acoustic lessons. Keep on playing.